Before the Saints bounty gate, the league has had huge issues with its past players uh, who have gone through the system and healthcare wise has had the system spit them out damaged. A season ago, one thing while the NFL has taken steps to protect its current players, there are select veterans like George Visker, Dan Bunce, and Doug Cosby left to right who are convinced the league hasn't done enough for them. Veterans are forced to seek their own medical coverage for injuries, especially head injuries suffered during their careers. No giant pension available from their playing days to dip into now. You got to hit your head with a helmet up against a brick wall 2,000 times in 10 years as part of your job. During the 81 Super Bowl season, I had emergency VP shunt brain surgery during that season. Um, four months after the Super Bowl, I have two more brain surgeries 10 hours apart. I'm given last rights, so I'm 23 years old. Several times a week, George Visker is loaded into this chamber at the Sacramento Clinic so oxygen can seep into his brain. He needs this to help maintain his memory. Chances are you've never heard of this former defensive tackle. In this 1980 game against the Dallas Cowboys, Visker, number 63, was hit by number 87, Cowboys tight end Jay Saldi. Visker suffered a concussion on this play. He stayed in the game. The result? The end of Visker's two-year career and subsequent nine brain surgeries. It took a lawsuit against the Niners for workman's comp to help pay for his treatment. 126 former players are not covered. They have filed suit against the NFL for brain damage as a result from concussions suffered while playing. I have 28 years of these things. I mean, all day long, when I get a phone call, I write down, you know, 914. Visker has a notebook detailing every conversation or task every day, or he would forget it all. Former Cowboy tight end Doug Cosby is affected, too. I've lived in this area for four years. I call my wife and go, how do I get to the, uh, where's the Safeway store again? She thought I was joking. No. I was gone for five months. I couldn't remember what street it was on. Former 49er linebacker Dan Bunce, who made one of the greatest goal line stands in NFL history in the 49ers first Super Bowl victory, has been an advocate for the veteran players. He is angered that the league, a nine and a half billion dollar business, has turned its back on former players. The headaches were so bad for former Chicago Bear Dave Durison, he took his own life so doctors could study his brain. If Jerison had known about this, if this was available to him back then, do you think we, he'd be alive today? You know what? I, I don't want to... I know darn good and well it would have helped him tremendously, and maybe he would still be alive. Visker received a proclamation in Sacramento as part of Brain Damage Awareness Month in March. For these three players, it is the hope that enough pressure will be placed on the league to finally lend aid. All right, we'll be back to wrap things up after this. We have an update on the San Jose Sharks. And also, well, in your backswing, this is certainly something that uh, uh, you're just not used to seeing. Try and keep an eye on the ball with that thing lingering. <laughs> Come on back.